welcome to a new video and welcome to I Like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel. And today we're in Curacao. So welcome to Curacao. And today we're gonna to make a video about how to get to the beach and how easy it is to get to the beach after we get off the ship. You'll have just seen there in that previous video as walking off on the gangway, coming off the pier. And now we're right here at the excursion and taxi meeting point. And we're gonna to go to Mambo Beach. So if you've heard about Mambo Beach before, Maybe you haven't, maybe this is the first time watching the video. We're gonna to go to Mambo Beach in Curacao. We're gonna take the local taxi and we're gonna be there very soon. So you'll see a lot of crowds right behind me as because there's two ships in port at the same time. So let's go to the taxis, let's head off to Mambo Beach and let's go and have some fun and check out the beach over there and see what it has to offer. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna try and find our taxi to get to the beach. So there's basically an arrow right here, and you're gonna see on one side, this is kind of where the taxis are off in the distance, just over here. And then over here on the left is where all of the people are coming out for shore excursions. Over here, you'll see tours meet here. You'll see the buses. So we're gonna basically walk down and look for a taxi and see how easy it is to get to Mambo Beach. Okay, let's go, shall we? All right, so this is going to be pretty easy, apart from the fact we just got off the ship and it's probably the most crowded 30 minutes, but that's okay. We're going to get over here now. The whole thing with getting taxis is we're going to share with a group of other people so we don't have to pay the full taxi price. It's a little bit windy today. See the ship right behind us. And let's sort of uh, try and be a little bit... Uh, not so polite. We'll, uh, so there's basically a taxi stand. Everybody's waiting for the same spot right here. And we're going to figure out where we're going to go. Pretty much a lot of people are going to the same places here. So let's jump in the taxi and get ourselves to the beach, shall we? Okay, so we've made it into the taxi and we're heading to Mambo Beach. We're here with my friend Gabriel. Say hi Gabriel. Hi. I just met Gabriel, he decided to sit in the front. I thought he was going to drive, but he's not. And Omar's our driver, say hi Omar. Hi, how do you do? Omar's going to take us to Mambo Beach. So basically after that chaos of getting on to the taxis, I can consider that was a chaos. Uh, everybody wants to go to a different place and everybody ends up really almost at the same places anyway. <laughs> Are you excited, Gabriel? Yeah. Uh, Gabriel's uh, a streamer, right? Yeah? Are you ready to be famous? Yeah. Yeah? Wow, you don't seem to be so excited as me. <laughs> so, and everybody's in the back, say hi everyone. Hi. All right. Okay, so we're gonna, from the pier where we just left, it's around about a 15 minute taxi ride and it's $7 per person each way. Okay, and then once we get there, we'll sort of determine where we're gonna hang out and if there's any extra fees once we get there. So, uh, we're just gonna head out on the roads now of Curacao. We're on the main highway or main road, I don't know what we call it. And Gabriel, are you excited? Yeah. Still you're excited, yeah? <laughs> and Omar, are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited too. All right, so let's go to the beach and we'll be there very soon. We'll come back when we get out of the taxi, okay? Okay, so we're here at Mambo Beach already. Uh, again, it was about a 15 minute ride from when we got on the taxi at the pier to stepping out here at the entrance of the Mambo Beach area. Now this actually area where we initially get off is actually like a little bit of a shopping village. And then the beach sort of runs either side of where we are. That was our driver back there, Omar. He just dropped us all off. I basically shared a uh, taxi with other people. So there was I think, nine of us all together. So they're arranging to come back at a designated time. So it's basically $7 each way. Um, and then you arrange to come back with the same driver or you turn up and wait for a new driver. Okay, so let's go for a walk around and check out the beach, shall we? 
Okay, so I'll just point out the little directory here when we get to uh, Mambo Beach. Uh, this is actually Mambo Beach Boulevard, which is a series of shops and cafes and restaurants. And it's basically over two levels. And it's kind of the entrance and the main part of Mambo Beach. And then there's a few other beach clubs in the same area. This is actually a bit of a reverse map. So where we're looking now, the beach is basically exactly ahead of us from where the video is filmed from right here. So it's pretty easy to get there. We just check out the map, walk down, and off we go. So these are little shopping areas right here. This is like a bit of a small shopping center. And it has uh, it even has a subway, believe it or not. There's uh, some Western restaurants, there's some local restaurants, and there's shops, jewelry stores, even upscale restaurants. So you've got a lot of different options. If you want to just sort of walk around and check out the place. Again, where we just walk from now is where we'll get the taxi back. It is super easy to get the taxis. Uh, a lot of people obviously have walked off the ship, didn't have any plan or clue what they were going to do. But uh, we're here. There's even a barber shop. Uh, yeah, it's basically surf shops, beach shops, uh, lots of things check out what should we do we might walk to the upstairs level here so we can take a look uh, at where we are and then we'll walk down to the beach area and check it out a bit more so there's actually a kind of a beach club kind of vibe here there's all these sort of beach bars there's the famous subway right there and we're gonna walk this way just take a look at the steps leading down to the beach so we can see where we arrived to. Beautiful. Oh, there's people everywhere at the beach already. Looks good. Can you see here now where we are? And it's basically like a protected lagoon. It's not an open beach. It uh, has basically like a, a rocks that create like a reef break. So it's basically a very calm, tranquil kind of beach. And it's easy just to hang out there. Uh, there is basically different beach clubs along the beach here. So there's different fees that they might charge to have a cabana or have a beach chair or an umbrella. Or simply just put your towel down on the sand and it's all yours. So let's head on down there, shall we? Okay, so we've come down those stairs from that upper level of the shopping area. And there is a beach club right here where they've got the pool and there's a restaurant and bar. Now the most important thing is if you're just turning up, a lot of these places either have a day rate for the chairs and cabanas, or you may have to have a minimum purchase of food and drink. Uh, otherwise the beach is right here. So all these chairs and tables belong to the different beach clubs along Mambo Beach. Look how beautiful the water is. Wow, wow, wow. So yeah, you'll see here the whole stretch of the beach Running all the way to the left here of where we got our, where we arrived. And then let's have a look to the right. And then you'll see further down here, different beach clubs, different bars, and everybody just standing in the water. Almost looks like a swim pool. It's kind of crazy to think. It is the ocean, but you can see the reef break back there. And then people swim over to the rocks and want to jump in. So yeah, beautiful place. It is a little bit man-made. This is definitely something to notice. It's not a natural, natural uh, beach area, but uh, still nice. Good for kids, good for children. Uh, very calm water. It's not too deep. You'll see most people are only waist deep in the water where they're swimming right here. So it's very nice.
Okay, so I've walked a little bit further down the beach here from the original point where we got off the bus and walked through the shops. Uh, this is still Mambo Beach, but it's a little bit further down. And you'll notice how much quieter it is down here because everybody gets off. They see the first part of the beach. They see the first chairs. And if you walk maybe not more than five minutes further down the beach, it's just me and a few other people. Oh uh, yeah, these are actually now kind of a couple of the resorts kind of directly behind me. And then they share the beach here. But if you just basically fit in like a local, you're good. So check out the view. How nice. And you can still see the ship in the background. It is a bit further away than it uh, really is. It's about, again, 15 minute bus ride or taxi ride, or whatever you want to call it, van ride. And we're here at the beach. So yeah, isn't it beautiful? Nice day today, blue skies, tiny bit of wind, palm trees breezing around. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. So we've made it back to the pier now, and I've actually walked a little bit down from where the ships dock. I'm here at the Renaissance Hotel, uh, just catching a bit of Wi-Fi and having a Starbucks uh, coffee. And uh, just thought I'd end the video right about here. Uh, thanks for watching everybody. Thanks for watching the video about how to get to Mambo Beach. I uh, hope you found it interesting and you can figure out how to get there yourself if you're coming on a ship. Uh, so just a couple of things. So obviously we got off the ship. Uh, we looked for the taxi stand. Uh, we determined the price to get there. So again, it's the price is generally per car and then they divide that then. Uh, it works out at $7 each way. Uh, coming back just now, it was a $7 fee for me come back it was actually different people I shared the uh, van with another family actually a large family that were going on the Royal Caribbean ship that was in town with me so it's nice to meet them so yeah, it was seven dollars for me to come back so each way seven dollars and then of course if you were gonna have uh, food and drinks or uh, you're gonna hang out by the beach there that's really all additional expenses so just keep that in mind if you're gonna go over to the beach so yeah uh, thanks for watching the video uh, thanks for watching I like cruise ships the YouTube channel uh, thanks for traveling with Russell as well. This is my other new thing that I'm adding to the videos, traveling with Russell. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you aren't a subscriber to the channel and you're really watching right to the end, uh, click the subscribe button. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and post a comment. Maybe something that you uh, noticed in the video or maybe something I didn't mention. So yeah, thanks for watching I Like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel. And thanks for watching the video about how to get to Mambo Beach in Curacao. Bye, everybody. Bye.